Hey folks, it's Mike. Um, I'm out here in the uh, streets of uh, St. Boniface uh, in Winnipeg uh, on my lunch break. Because um, I actually have a real job, not, you know, being a photographer, which, don't get me wrong, I'd like to be, but professionally, but you got to be realistic. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm out uh, taking some uh, fall photos and uh, figured to uh, bring along and uh, do some street photography while we're at it. I have been uh, sort of enjoying my, my lunch breaks, uh, working in this area of the city. Um, it's, it's quite beautiful, it's quite busy, it's quite French, you know, uh, St. Boniface being the French Quarter of Winnipeg. Um, just walking the streets, uh, enjoying the sun, enjoying the warm weather, uh, now that it's fall-ish, it's getting a little cooler, so can't enjoy it as much see how the winter goes, I don't know. But uh, as well, um, you know, being sort of the west part of St. Boniface, I'm conveniently close to, you might see it in the distance there, the Esplanade Real, and the Canadian Museum for Human Rights just sort of to the, uh, the left of it. Yeah. Okay, so one thing I do find fascinating with, you know, the fall season, seeing the leaves on the ground, and, uh, you know, I think uh, with sort of this, this curb, curb leading as an acting line, uh, you make for a good shot. So, yeah. Don't get me wrong, uh, you know, I don't hate fall, at least this time, this time of fall anyway. Still plenty of leaves on the trees, some nice color on the leaves. Um, however, I'm not looking forward to sort of what comes after that, after the leaves fall. The uh, trees will be sort of barren, the weather will be cold. Don't like that at all. And of course, with uh, Winnipeg, we've we've got a uh, independent uh, league uh, baseball team uh, called the Winnipeg Gold Eyes, which unfortunately uh, last place in the division this year, which means uh, they're not in the playoffs, and um, which are taking place right now. Okay, not this very second, but now-ish. And they've got a mascot named Goldie, who's got a big honking nose. Who's Yellow. I'm not entirely sure what he's supposed to be, but he's Goldie. And I swear he lives on the bridge. I know it's, you know, the sign on the front says Manitoba Technology Accelerator Program something. Uh, it's lies. I think it's, I think that's his place. He's got a nice big expensive condo on that bridge. <sighs> okay, I'm jealous. What can I say? Of course, uh, you know, again with the fall leaves being, in, you know, changing colors, uh, definitely makes uh, the sceneries look a little more nice, I guess. Uh, well, I don't want to say magical, but beautiful. You know, I mean, it's it's not all green with you know concrete and steel and whatever. It's uh, it's a bit of yellow, a bit of red, a bit of brown, a bit of orange. I kind of like it. Thank you. 
So yeah, I mean, I've, I've, I've been down here the uh, the Tache Promenade, aka the Tache Docks, many times, in many seasons, and yeah, I'll continue to do so because it's it's always a nice view of, of the Esplanade. I'll just try and get that in view a little bit better. There we go. Uh, and uh, you know, in winter, it's you know you got you got the nice white snow. Uh, spring, we've got the high waters, which kind of has, it's, it's interesting, I'll say that. And then summer, of course, with uh, all the, uh, the greens and uh, fall. I mean, it's difficult to see it in this view, but uh, it's there. Trust me, it's there. Of course, behind me, I've got uh, the old uh, San Bonifacio Cathedral, which uh, has been through a couple of fires. Uh, it was rebuilt once, and the second time, uh, about 55 years ago, I want to say, uh, it was decided to essentially not worry about rebuilding the entire church, but build a sort of a small church within it. So, yeah, it's, it's kind of neat and uh, quite historical because it's also I've uh, got the headstone. Don't believe it's the burial place of Louis Riel, who's considered the founder of Manitoba, near the Red River, Red River Rebellion. And uh, yeah, it's also just a nice, beautiful building again. It's all part of uh, St. Boniface's charm. I want to come down up and play with you. Or you can come down and play with me. You can hang out. What do you think? No? Yeah? Oh, come on. Close for me. And of course, one of the things I definitely like about uh, working in St. Boniface is that uh, there's a rooftop that uh, I can use. And uh, as you can see, there's a nice view of the uh, Canadian Museum for Human Rights on the, the right, the Esplanade Riel in the middle, and uh, the uh, Fort Gary uh, Tower slash hotel. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of neat.
say that's uh, that's one thing about uh, being in a urban environment uh, with you know some beautiful scenery. Got this you know nice beautiful tree with uh, you know the old St. Boniface City Hall and then traffic. But then again, you can sort of blame the traffic on construction. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of do feel like just kicking the leaves while they're on, on the ground. Go, go figure. Dude, I don't know why you're looking this way. I mean, construction's the other way. You need to just turn around. I'm not entirely sure why this statue exists. Like, the ghost of Old City Hall Pass? Uh, is it actually haunted? Oh geez, I hope it's not haunted. Oh, I, I, I probably should go. So I, I, I think with all the uh, construction noise going on in Provence there, I should probably uh, dig a little deeper into the neighborhood where it's a little quieter. Um, yeah, oh, and, and as you can tell, I'm filming this on a second second day because well it's kind of hard to do the entire neighborhood in one uh, one lunch break which is about an hour for me so yeah got uh, you know nice nice old buildings like as you say old city uh, st. Boniface City Hall and then newer ish buildings and then you know with like street photography one thing I like to do is to sort of explore the shapes and textures that you see on the walls and on the street, on the leaves, on the, well, whatever, basically. And uh, as you can see, there's a rail bridge uh, sort of in the middle of the neighborhood because, well, you know, there's train tracks that have been here for a century or so. I don't even know. Of course, I've always wanted to uh, be able to uh, get some nice photos of a uh, train passing by, but, well, as you can see, no train. Just by luck. Of course, uh, not only uh, do you get uh, views of downtown and whatever that thing is there. St. Boniface has a rocket program I don't know about. Anyway, 
As you can see, there's also buildings from, uh, I suppose you could call it the East Exchange District slash Waterfront Drive. Some neat buildings over there. I'd show you in a lot more detail if I had a telephoto lens on this camera, but I don't. So, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. That's not a rocket. St. Boniface doesn't have a rocket program. They're way too expensive. That's a climbing wall. Yeah, that's what it is. Still don't know if I'd climb it though, but whatever. Okay, I'm making my way back uh, to work since, you know, my lunch time's almost over. Uh, still no train. Well, of course, no my luck, but two minutes after I walk away from here, uh, there will be a train. Yeah. Yep, there's a train crossing. Called it. <sighs> kind of like uh, seeing this uh, this tree all on its own, and uh, you know, with the the wall as the background there. Um, kind of neat. Maybe I'll take a photo or two. Anyway, um, my lunch time's over. I gotta go back to work. Um, just you know, wanted to take you guys around for uh, some street photography in St. Boniface. So, so on that note, uh, do the usual: like, comment, subscribe. Ciao, folks.